and Pink Violetta, the story of a young witch of the woods. The witch Pink Violetta lived with her raven named Rabenschwarz in a small cottage surrounded by a huge wild garden. She had always a lot of work to do, weeding, cooking, washing, ironing. Today, for example, she was preserving her dandelion honey. The raven helped her as good as he could. He hoped that when they would finish faster, they could once again make a trip by broom. However, Pink Violetta didn't want to fly out since a long time. The raven also noticed that the broom wasn't at its usual place anymore. Is Pink Violetta still able to fly? asked the raven himself. Lately, our witch got more and more slaggish and discontented. The sun was too bright to her. The raven also could not satisfy her. And yesterday, the snails went behind her salads. Sometimes the raven flew out when it was too much to him. The witch and her bird took together their sleeping tea. That was an old tradition. Ah, oh, Rabenschwarz, Pink Violetta began to sigh. I guess at the moment it's not much fun with me. I feel always discontented. All the garden looks bad and the whole house is in a mess. Rabenschwarz had to agree and meant. Maybe we should do a great polish and clear away the lumber. And tell me, when did you do your last produce by magic? This he wanted to ask her since a long time. What the dust up here! Pink Violetta and Rabenschwarz had been busy with clearing away the lumber. Rabenschwarz called Pink Violetta suddenly. Oh my goodness, look at this! The bird came running up very interested. This is my old good witchcraft equipment. My magic broom and the magic book. And here a photo from our magic class. Oh! The witches Trophier and Flutterhoft, they were very close friends. And the wizard Plamond. And look, here we are! Soulfully, Pink Violetta looked at her broom and leafed through her magic book. Blue magic, frog's night magic, fly and air magic, broom handling and special care. Produced by magic would just be the greatest. Maybe I could still become a skilled witch. I only had to start practicing again. I am a witch. And a witch must produce by magic. The next morning, Pink Violetta got up very early. The dust blue garden was still in deep sleep. 
she put on her dressing gown and left the room quietly. Full not to wake up the raven. Now the attic looked just beautiful. It got much more light and space. This will become my magic chamber, Pink Violeta decided. She got paper, colors and writing utensils and moved the table a bit more to the light. Nearby she put her witchcraft equipment, the book, the photo and the broom. Pink Violeta opened up the window and began to exercise right away. from the kitchen. Pink Violetta went down right away to watch if her first lesson to produce a breakfast by magic was successful. Down in the kitchen both were all astonished. The table was nicely laid, a generous breakfast with butter, jam and big crusty croissants. Pink Violetta beamed at the raven nearly with a little bit of crowd. Oh! And then she saw it. Rabenschwart had an awful green beak. Yet still a mistake. The witch sighed disappointed. It doesn't matter. The raven comforted her with generosity. You'll easily put it right back to yellow. The main point is that in this cottage produced by magic is restarted. Since then, Pink Violetta practiced every day. She studied carefully one chapter after the other. With big signs and notes, she put her lost findings in writing. Produced by magic seemed to her more and more easy. She brewed in her chamber, lasting for hours and forget the time completely. Only one thing she could not manage. The green beak of Rabenschwarz stubbornly stayed green. She had the idea to consult the wizard Blaumond on this subject. Rabenschwarz, today we could fly out once again. The raven was ready instantly. They packed the rucksack and took off by broom. The bird had great fun. He took seat in top front on the broomstick and enjoyed the breeze blowing through his feathers. The most important thing is that you produce by magic something good, said the wizard Blaumond. One must want it very much. Imagine the result very exactly and be convinced that it will work. That's how you'll get the most difficult magic formulas. All of a sudden, Pink Violeta had an inspiration. She began to turn pirouettes and whispered a long word. Rabi the clean, schwops, cooks, moguls, locks, tucks. Green seam beam to hello mellow yellow. And it worked. Indeed, the raven's beak 
got yellow again. That was a great moment! Thankful, the witch and her bird said goodbye to Blarmond and flew home, being in high spirits. Beautiful it was up here! Now they have been in a festive mood! They took out their provisions and clinked glasses with a fine little drop of wine. The next night, Pink Violetta had a dream. In her garden grew magnificent flowers with huge mysterious blossoms. Such flowers she had never seen before. The next morning, the witch got up with great thirst for action. If it only would be possible to produce by magic these exceptional flowers in her garden. Now she anyway searched for new magic ideas and to create something of her own would be much more exciting than the exercises from the magic book. In her chamber she carefully began to brood about it. It also was important to think about the snails. This she knew by her own experience. <laughs> I'm going to produce by magic for them three irresistible gourmandizing salads. Everything else they won't like. Till the precious magic words matured. It required a great deal of time. You know, the snail's magic was an extra tough one. In the following full moon night, Pink Violetta spread her magic in the garden around the cottage. Since that full moon night, several weeks had already been passed. Pink Violetta went often in the garden to see if there something was growing. But she saw nothing at all. She got more and more impatient and the first doubt started nagging at her. But the raven meant growing would take its time. Evening, when they returned in the garden, Pink Violetta saw something. Tiny green tops came out of the ground everywhere. 
Pink Violetta was excited. She talked enthusiastically to the raven and ran around overjoyed in her garden. The tiny tops got greater and greater and soon they builded buds. And when the first flower opened up, the whole garden began to perfume and bloom wonderfully in the most magic shades of pink and violet. The most glamorous butterflies arrived in the garden and visited the flower here and there. Pink Violetta and Rabenschwarz sat happily in front of their cottage and were astonished about the garden. It was like a miracle! from the garden door. The witch's strawfeuer and Flatterhaft came to visit. Pink Violetta nearly couldn't believe it. She welcomed them warmly. The witch Flatterhaft told she felt that at Pink Violetta's something special would happen. As you see, I was right. Look at these flowers. Did you ever see something like this? And just when the witch is set by coffee, the wizard Plowmond came calling. Also him, it pulled magically this way. When all sat together comfortably, Pink Violetta meant that they could do a big party. All began to help each other. Wizard Plowmon produced by magic a huge mushroom and the witch's strawfeuer and Flutterhaft a table and a little bank underneath. And Pink Violetta, led with a few magic formulas, set the table with a fantastic dinner. This evening turned to a special nice one. The witches and Blaumond had a very good time. And the raven could do his studies. After dinner, the butterflies showed a tender air ballet. And after dessert, even the snails dropped in wanted to show their gratitude for the salads. And then they performed a funny native dance, a snail's cha-cha! Nobody ever saw the snails dancing so beautifully. Just perfect.